Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain you how to draw a location site plan like this one that you can see here. And I'm going to use Google Earth to download the image. So, let's open it. I already have it installed in my computer and I have to zoom in to the place where I have the site plan. I already know it's going to be around here. The next step is to download the image. It's very easy. I just need to go to File, then I go to Save and Save Image. Now I can change the size of the image. For example, if I want it with more details, I can uh, choose a big one. I will click in maximum size. After I click in save image and I save it with the name that I want. Just wait a few seconds and it's done. Now that I have my image, I can switch to AutoCAD and here I'm going to the tab Insert and click in this icon that says Attach. And with this, I will be able to import an image to the file. I will choose this one. I click in Open. And now I could specify a scale for it. But for now, we could just click in OK and then we will scale it with a reference. So, I will insert it here. And here you have the image from Google Earth. As you see, if I use the command distance, you will notice that this length will not match the real one. So, let's make a scale with the reference. I will go again to Google Earth and I'm going to measure a distance with the ruler. And for example, I will choose this point here in this intersection. And the second point will be this one. Then, if I look to map length, I can see the distance that I actually measure. So I will use this reference. So let's go to AutoCAD. And in the drawing, I'm going to type scale SC. I select the image. Press enter. Now I'm going to choose a base point. Now, instead of typing a scale factor, I will type R for reference. And now I will draw exactly the same line that I did in Google Earth. It was first point here. And the second point, it was that one located precisely in the, this intersection. Now, I just need to type exactly the, this distance. 1024.82. Now I have the drawing with its real dimensions. I can confirm it with the command distance. I will measure again the width of my terrain, which measures around 31 meters. And if I go to the Google Earth, I can confirm it's right, 31.44. Now that my image is in its correct size, I can start making the location plan. I switch to the layout first. I will specify the size of the paper. So I go here to 
page setup manager then I click in modify and choose 83 click in OK now close now we are going to click in the viewport and by clicking in this blue square we extend it to the other corner now I double click inside the viewport and I have to specify the scale that I want to see in my paper and for my case I'm going to choose 1 per 1 which in reality means 1 per 1000 because I'm considering as my unit a meter and due to the fact that my paper unit is millimeter we have to do this conversion then we want our paper to look like this we are going to insert a rectangle I'm going to click around here until there this will be our frame and then I activate again rectangle and uh, make uh, something like this so after doing this what we need to do is to cut all the drawing except everything inside this uh, square but first I will click in the image and then I will put some fade here I will uh, click on the line and um, drag it to the right a bit for example around here then to cut the image it's very simple I'm going to select it then I will click in this icon that says create clipping boundary and that bar boundary that I choose will be exactly this rectangle I click there for the first point and the second point here so it was very simple to do it finally to finish this simple location plan I'm going to create the boundary of my terrain first I will go to the layer properties manager here to the left side and switch to this layer that says red then with the command polyline I will create a boundary the first point will be here then I will draw all the boundary by click in the four extremities then I connect with the first one and press escape so as you see this location plan is now finished then I could for example measure the area by typing AA press enter and I click in all the sides of the rectangle to measure it here you can see my area and my perimeter in the last part of this tutorial we are going to draw this legend here first we will activate the command rectangle to draw the border there I'm going to click in the corner for my first point and then I will insert the dimensions that I need as my horizontal dimension is in opposite direction to my UCS I need to put it negative so minus 120 then tab and for the, the vertical 70 after this I just need to draw the sections inside first I will draw again a rectangle from here more or less this is not very precisely to this part and I can click after I will use the command single line by clicking in this arrow and then single line 
and sorry that I have a problem in the recording that the mouse pointer is not in its correct position, but I think you can manage to understand. So, then I will click here and for my text height, I will type 4, press enter and then put this dash yellow line horizontal to have my text horizontal and click. Then I write project, click in any place and press escape. Now I'm going to use the command copy. I select this rectangle and the text. I press enter and I want two of these below. For that, I will type A to use an array. Number of objects to array, I want three of them. Type 3 and press enter. Now I'm copying the objects that I selected two times. The third one is my original one. And with the particularity that they have the same distance between them. The last one. I will click in this blue icon and extend the rectangle until the bottom. Now I can change this text to location for example and then I double click in this one and put drawing title press escape finally I will click again in single line text click Click around here and then the text height will be 3. I put it horizontal again and I can type author and click. I will use the command copy, click in this that says author. Now I can click in this endpoint and with the help of the polar tracking I can place it exactly below. Now just change the name for scale. So as you see it's finished this location plan. Thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to Cat in Black to watch all the tutorials of AutoCAD. Also, if you need extra help, I can give you online private lessons by Google Hangouts. It's very simple. Just uh, write me an email and I will answer you as soon as possible. Thank you and uh, see you next time.